Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to discuss about the Spring AOP. AOP stands for Aspect Oriented Programming. In any enterprise application, there are a number of concerns which needs to be taken care of in addition to the main business logic. These concerns are spread across the application and into multiple application layers. Such concerns are like logging, transaction management, performance monitoring, security, implementing caching. These concerns are known as cross-cutting concerns of the application. One of the main feature of the Spring framework is the aspect-oriented programming paradigm. Its main purpose is to aggregate sections of the code that would be usually repeated in multiple places of your application uh, for example boilerplate code to open commit or roll rollback or transactions or you can say implementing caching or security mechanism in your application by removing boilerplate code from one business method you are making them cl cleaner another example of such common use cases of AOP is the logger or audit calls to some or other or all business methods. EOP helps you to implementing cross-cutting concerns of the application, keeping them separate from the main business logic and thus resulting a loosely coupled application. Like in this pic picture you can see uh, we have a presentation layer, business layer and data access layer and some of the functionality like uh, logging, uh, transaction management, security. These are the I mean functionality we use across the applications and these are the functionality is called cross-cutting concerns. Basically these are not related to the actual business logic and still you are going to write this kind of code with the business lo logic that means just you are mixing business logic as well as non-functional uh, non-functional coding so basically AOP helps you to separate out this non-functional coding from the business logic and and we, we, we should keep this code into some different modules and whenever your business logic executes at that time we can trigger this non-functional related code Uh, EOP comes with the own set of jargons or terminology. So let's discuss about the EOP terminologies. These, are, these terms are not based, uh, specific to the spring, rather they are related to the aspect oriented programming. First uh, terminology I would like to discuss that is aspect. We can define aspect as a, a module which has a set of API, APIs providing cross cutting requirements. For example, a logging module would be called EOP aspects for logging. An application can have any number of aspects depending on the requirement. Second terminology is the join points. This represents a point in your application where you can plug in EOP aspect. You can also say it is the actual place in the application where an action to be taken using the Spring AOP framework. Next we have advice. This is the actual action to be taken either before or after method execution. This is the actual piece of code that is invoked during program execution by Spring AOP framework. Next terminology we have a point cut. This is the set of one or more join points where an advice should be executed. You can specify point cuts using expressions or patterns we as we uh, will see in the R AOP examples. Next terminology we have introduction. An introduction allows you to add new methods or attributes to the existing class. So suppose if you have a, a design uh, aspect class and if you want to 
introduce a new advice within that class without changing the class then introduction comes into the picture next terminology we have a target object an object being advised by one or more aspects this object will be always with a proxy object also referred to as the advised object and finally we have a weaving weaving is process of linking aspects with other application types or objects to create an advised or proxy object this can be done at the compile load or runtime so we have a different types of advice a spring aspects can work with the five kinds of advice mentioned below so first advice we have a before so this advice basically run advice before the method execution if you want to call this i mean any piece of code before running the any method or before executing the any method then this this advice we can implement so this is called before advice now second we have a after advice run this advice run after the method execution regardless of its outcome so whether method execute successfully or method end with any exception is still this advice after advice is going to call third advice we have a after returning this advice run after the method execution only if method completes successfully if if method executes successfully without um, without uh, throwing any exception then after returning advice will be called fourth advice we have a after throwing so basically this advice run after the method execution only if method exits by throwing an exception so while running the method if method throws an exception then after throwing advice will be called now last but not the least we have a around advice so around advice run before and after advised method is invoked so basically run advice is the you can say combination of before after after returning and after throwing all we have a, uh, these four advices so i mean uh, whatever job is done by the these four advice around advice can do alone so this was a just brief introduction about the spring aop so here we have seen i mean theoretical concept about the spring aop so next series of video tutorial i am going to uh, create some demo project so that uh, you can understand uh, these things in very i mean uh, you will have a clear understanding so let's see let's meet in the next video tutorial and till that happy learning